Hey, what's happening, guys? We're going to talk about the 741 op amp today, and we're going to play with this giant one just for fun. It works the same as a standard 741. This is from uh, Evil Mad Scientist, and it is the XL741. It's simply a discrete transistorized version of a 741 op amp, so that'll be cool. Can you believe it's the middle of May already? Holy cow, like all the schools around here are having their graduations this weekend. I think like the 20th and the 21st. When I'm writing this, writing this, when I'm recording this, it's the 17th. So I do try and get things in early when I can, but it doesn't always work that well. So what we're going to talk about today is a way to use the 741 op amp as a negative to positive voltage generator. So let's bring in the uh, new for 2023 CAD system. <laughs> yeah, I know I made a stupid joke like all the other little YouTubers. So here is our op amp. We're going to put... 9 volts DC there, and ground. That's all we got so far, okay? So now remember, pin 2 is our non -inver is our inverting, pin 3 is our non-inverting, just you know, keep that in mind. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to put in a feedback resistor from the output over to pin 2, the inverting input. And we're going to use a 1K resistor. All right. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to bring our signal in. So we're going to put a, a little current limiting resistor there. We, we use 1K again. Just keep it simple. So there's where our signal comes in. There's that 1K resistor. And there's that feedback coming there before it gets into the inverting input. Now, pin 3, the non-inverting, or, yeah, the non-inverting input. Did I do that right or did I mix them up again? 2 is the inverting, 3 is non-inverting. Okay, good. So 3 goes to ground. That is the entirety of our circuit right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a little feature, a little feature, uh, an effect of the 741 op amp that when there is a difference of voltage here in between the inverting and non inverting pin, the brains of the op amp is going to do whatever it has to do to make them equal on the output. And that's what we're going to take advantage of today. So let's take this and bring it down here and put it on this. So I made up some uh, some wires to use for this with these really nice ring terminals. And these ring terminals are from Solder Stick. This is their 300 piece ring connection kit. Three colors, red, blue, and yellow. From 22 gauge down to 10 gauge from 19 amp to 48 amp these are super nice kits i've got a discount for you down below in the description check it out all you've got to do is crimp on your ring terminal and then shrink the insulator at the end it's always better to use a ring terminal or a, what do they call those split terminals f fork terminals than to just you know jam wires in there. So let's start with these grounds here. See how nice that fits? And you guys know by now solder stick is a sponsor of the channel. Currently the only one. And I'm cool with that. I ain't looking for any more. Because Without all the sponsorships forcing me to do what they want me to do when they want me to do it, I'm more at ease just creating my own, which is how I started this channel. 
Okay. So there's our grounds. Next up, we're going to add power from the power supply. So there's our negative on pin four and our positive on pin seven. I don't have the power supply energized, so we're fine there. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get one of these resistors. These are hundred K or one K resistors. And I, uh, I put the same ring terminals on. I took off the uh, the heat shrink insulation because I needed to be able to solder these. I couldn't crimp them on the wires too small. So there's our feedback. And then our non-inverting input goes to ground as well. So we're holding our own at zero. Get them on there too. By the way, this uh, LM741 kit was sent in by a good friend, B-Blood, down in Florida. Thanks, Barry. We've been having a lot of fun playing with this thing. So I figured I'd bust it out again for you guys. So there's three, uh, just the like of that. And now we have to connect to pin two. This is where our negative signal will be coming in. Now, there's going to be some offset here when we do this. Um, I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. There is our input resistor. So now we take our incoming, which goes to the inverting input, and we connect it to the feedback wire. And we also connect our input wire as well and then we'll just clip them all together just like so all right let's bring in bring in the old meter here and we're going to connect it up get over here so you can see what i'm doing i'm just going to connect the negative of the meter to the <laughs> you're going to be you're going to be fun to play. There we go. Connect the negative meter to our ground, and then we will connect our positive to the output of the op amp. Whoops. I said we will connect our positive to the output of the op amp, just like that. Okay, we got nothing. If I energize the circuit, we've got almost two volts of offset. Well, you can you can adjust the offsets on these. I'm not going to bother with it today. Okay, so over here we have my AD584 um, voltage standard, and I've got it set to output 5 volts. You see black, which is our negative, and red, which is our positive, but I've got them switched around. So let's go back over to our connections over here, and we will connect. Let me make sure I do this right. Yeah, let me change these wire colors around. I think I think I was trying to be cool and fooled myself. Yeah, black is here. I know you can't see. I'm just hang on. All right, let's look it up now. So our ground is going to be our positive. So we'll take the white, which is the positive from our source, and we'll clip it to the ground, just like so. And then we'll take the negative from our source, and it's going to go right up here to our input, like a so. Remember, we're inputting 5 volts. We've got, what, a 2-volt offset. So we're looking at uh, 8.1 volts. And if I change I can take this up to 7.5. Oh, look at that. As it gets closer to the uh, supply voltage, it evens out. 
put more in, it's probably just going to clip. Yeah. If I put less, this is 2.5 volts. The voltage itself isn't the point of the demonstration. The point is we are taking a negative voltage input and you're getting a positive voltage output. It is an inverter. I know, it's not groundbreaking. It's just a useful thing. If you ever need to invert some voltage, you know, you throw in a op amp, you connect your non-inverting to ground, put a couple resistors on, and you're good to go. For anybody else who wants to check it out, I mean, there's the circuit. It's super simple. You can play around with the resistor values, and that will um, change your offset. And you can also you know, use the offsets and get them squared away that way. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. And a big thanks to you for watching. Yes, you right there. I'm pointing at you. Thank you to Solder Stick for sponsoring this video. And uh, don't forget there will be a uh, discount code down below where you can get whatever Solder Stick product you like at 20% off. That's it. I'm out. Peace.